So recently, there was a transgender skater, a Finnish transgender skater, who was allowed to skate at a figure skating championship, not in the competition, okay? In the kind of like a pre a ceremony, an opening ceremony type thing. The skater is a very clearly a, a middle aged or old older man, or born that way at least, <laughs> and also very clearly bad at skating. And this person <laughs> fell, and it was um it went viral. People memed it. It's hilarious. There's a transgender skater who sucks and looks every bit transgender and fell, and nobody was allowed to laugh at or. The people at the event weren't allowed to laugh at it. Everyone's ever. They, they what had, does that mean, though? Yeah, they had this. They, nobody mean? there. They all said it was brave. No, nobody. The, the nobody. It's like this video. It's in a foreign language that I don't understand. So I can't tell what the announcers are <laughs> are saying. <laughs> you think? Are, I'm pretty sure they're not saying, "Hey, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life." Because it is. They're not saying that. But then, uh, Pasovic is. You know, he. Uh, you know, he wrote, they fall down in the first 45 seconds and no one is allowed to act like anything at all happened. And That's I mean, just a general like statement, I'm sure. I mean, well, look at the people around. Nobody's laughing at it, right? And here's the other thing that I'm wondering about, okay? They did state, the event organizer stated that it was a celebration of all sorts of skaters, of all skill levels. But as far as I could see in the clips that I've seen, and maybe I haven't seen the entire event, okay? It's fair enough. When they say all skill levels, none of them sucked as much as this one person, okay? Mm -hmm. Nobody sucked as much as this one person. I have a feeling this one person got to do it because they're trans and just people walk on eggshells all around what trans people want. All the other people skating in that clip were competent, right? Yeah. Well, what what I, the I hell just, is this? And I here's mean, the other thing. This person is not an incompetent skater because they're trans. Men are better skaters than women in many ways, okay? And obviously you could be a male skater that's v excellent and then transition. Right, right. This person sucks because they suck. <laughs> And but yet it everybody feels like there was some kind of exception made an exception person. made for this person, but not made for them because they suck. Because if um because nobody makes exceptions for you for sucking, okay? No NFL team is gonna hire me just because I love football, even though I suck. <laughs> but this person, they were given a lot of leeway, they were granted a lot of favor just because they're trans, or maybe they had some, you know, connections with the the people in charge. I don't know, but this person didn't suck because they're trans. This person did get favorable treatment because they are trans. That is true. Sad at this I think, point. I think that feels okay. What you said seems evident to me from the video that this guy got sp special treatment because he obviously sucks, right? And I think that alone is already notable and worth, uh, you know, basically it justifies this video going viral. But what I don't like is uh, Pasovic actually editorializing. And saying, you know, okay, and no one is allowed to act right. like anything. Okay, at all. well, forget Pasovic like for that... a second. Well, forget him. Yeah. There's a lot of people covered the story. <laughs> okay, just look at the Daily Mail link then. Yeah. Okay. That just feels like clickbait or just sensationalism, you know? Um, True. I mean, because I we laughed, nobody stopped me, right? Yeah. Nobody at the event is probably allowed <laughs> to laugh. You'd probably be punished. That's true enough. But I'm allowed to laugh. Um, but I guess it's, the thing is, it's not evident from the. Like I said, without knowing exactly what the um, announcers were saying, um, I, I don't feel like there's no there's no clear evidence of this uh, of what of his claim. Oh, well, no yes, there's no clear evidence. That, but in fairness to him, even though there's no clear evidence, we I think we can fairly surmise what the reaction was. It was not the reaction that you get on Twitter. It's a reaction of, oh, yay, this person's brave for trying this because it's their event. Yeah, probably. It's their, it's their event. Probably. And that was their goal. Their goal was to be stunning and brave. So that is the company line that they are probably all going to tow. Again, this is not this is not about being trans, making you a bad skater. Like what the hell? There's I bet there's trans skaters who are way better than this. What? Why are we? Can you find a better trans skater. A person who's competent at skating. Skater. Yeah. And who considers himself identifies as trans. I yeah. bet you anything yeah, they that exist. Reminds me of uh, Walt from Breaking Bad. I don't know why. So I just think it's think embarrassing. So? And you know what? They're not really even helping their cause because this just makes a joke out of their movement. I think this is sad for Finland. If you, now, if you had a competent skater who was, happened to be trans and you said, we're celebrating the diversity or whatever, okay, that, that would be one thing. But this is just an embarrassment. It looks like you're just, you're giving somebody a cookie no matter what. If, they say, if you say you're trans, you get a cookie. 
and the cookie happens <laughs> to be anything you want. Apparently, you can be on national television, and be skating in the middle like you're the star, right? And all the competent skaters have to skate around you like the supporting cast. That's that's just a bad look, I and mean, I don't think it helps trans people. I don't think it like if you brought in a trans person that was co- competent at skating, I think maybe that would help people, you know, ha- accept the diversity, be more willing to accept that diversity, or just be more open minded to it. Now you've just made it a joke. I don't think it's. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I agree that it would have helped, even if the, this person was good, but. Uh, well, imagine a person was really good at skating and you saw them. You wouldn't think it's a joke, at least, right? Yeah, at least, yeah. I, I certainly wouldn't think it's a joke. You would say, "Okay, look, there's a trans person. And they're very competent at this." Okay, <laughs> this is all bad. I don't, I don't, I don't see anybody. Does, who does this help? Does it help any trans people anywhere? That's to me. Yeah, t- to me, I think this is neutral for trans, but it just makes Finland look really bad, in my opinion. I think it looks bad for trans too. You think so? <laughs> Well, just because whenever you're the butt of the joke it's just, it's, for something, yeah, I don't know. It's just this guy can't skate. Whenever you're the butt of the joke, it's bad. It's just not good. It's not a good look. Okay. And but then also so this this is I think this is indicative of well well like Pasobic was talking about if there's a sort of a political correctness um an orthodoxy that people impose trans rights are amazing and you cannot question it and if this person is trans and wants to do this. You can't question it. You can't say, nobody can raise their hand and say, well, but this person sucks because that person will be outed as a bigot. And if that orthodoxy is enforced, that doesn't help trans people because you get res- you get stuff like this. They need to stop enforcing the orthodoxy. That will help trans people because you will have more self-reflective, you will have more introspective, you will have more self-aware actions. <laughs> like there will be people who are genuinely pro-trans who want to further trans rights working in this organization and they'll raise their hand and say okay listen i'm totally for trans rights and i get what you're trying to do that's all great but putting this person out there who is incompetent is not going to help our cause and so let's not do it and maybe do something a little different or find somebody else nobody is allowed to talk like that and in a world where nobody is allowed to talk like that you are kneecapping your own cause now again i'm not i don't i don't i don't care about their trans rights i don't i'm not for it's their business you know they can fight for it i'm not fighting for it but even the people who do want to fight for it you're not helping yourselves 